No, I, I, I got to get going. I, I got to get going, okay? No, you say bye first. No, you say it first. I, I love you too. Y yes, a whole lot. It, I know you do. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. J-Lo. Guys, lesson 10 in the Foundations of Algebra course. We spent a whole lot of time lately talking about the operations, and I think we're good. We've got addition under our belt, and we understand that subtraction is addition of the opposite. We took care of multiplication, and we know that division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So we're good to go, right? Well, it it sort of brings up this issue. How do you handle it if you have all the operations all mixed up? Uh, and it comes down to when you're looking at an expression with lots of operations, what's the order that you do them in? Well, you guys probably remember uh, this, this weird word or acronym uh, that sort of helps us understand the order of operations. And this PEMDAS stands for P parentheses. You do everything in, in parentheses first, any kind of grouping symbol actually, that happens first. Then we take care of any exponents that we have, then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. That's it, that's the order. Starting from the top, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So let's put these to work in some examples. All right, let's say you're asked to do all the operations and come up with a simplified answer um, for something like this, five plus two times three. All right, well, we've got two operations going on here, addition and multiplication. By the way, do you notice the little dot instead of the, the X for multiplication, the time symbol? Um, we're right on the cusp of algebra and uh, the dot sort of replaces the, the X multiplication symbol there for, for reasons that we'll see soon. Um, so plus and uh, times there, addition and multiplication. So according to our list, it looks like multiplication gets done before addition. So let's do that first. Let's do the two times three, we get six. So now we can do the addition, five plus six is 11. By the way, just take a moment. Can you see how you would get a different answer if you did, if you sort of did these left to right, just you know, ignoring the order of operations? Five plus two is seven, and then times three, you'd get 21. So a totally different answer. So it's really important that you follow these order of operations so you can understand what the person that wrote this really meant. All right, here's another one. Four times three squared. So I see two operations going on there, hope you do too. Exponents and the dot for multiplication. So what happens first, yell it out. Wait, did you say subtraction? Weirdo, right? There's no subtraction there. Exponents or multiplication, which one comes first? Exponents, good. Good, so let's do the three squared. We know how to handle that, that's just nine. And then we can take care of the multiplication. Four times nine, 36. All right, there's our final simplified answer. Here's another one. Three minus negative two squared. All right, so looking at our list, again, we understand that we should go inside the parentheses first. That's our first set of parentheses. Well, there's really nothing to do there. It's just negative two. There's no operations inside there to do. So we're good. So now we go to our next step and that looks like exponents, right? After parentheses comes exponents. So negative two squared. All right, negative two times negative two. Two negatives are positive four. So then we can do three minus four and you guys understand that's just negative one. So we take care of that subtraction. Looking okay? All right, let's keep moving then. How about something like this? Two thirds times the quantity, one half plus one fourth. A quick word. Notice it is two thirds times that quantity, but you don't even see, first of all, you don't see the multiplication X and you don't even see the dot. Sometimes we just, if we have two numbers side by side with a set of parentheses around one of them or both of them, that means multiplication too, okay? So mathematicians 
uh, we tend to write as little as possible. So there it's understood that that's multiplication. Okay, so um, let's use our over, uh, order of operations. We'll go inside the parentheses. We need to do that addition that we see going on there. Obviously, you can't add halves and fourths, so we need to convert. So one half is really two fourths. Let's do the addition now inside the parentheses. Uh, we get three fourths. And now the only thing left to do is the multiplication. So two thirds times three fourths. We can do, go straight across six twelfths, and that's just the same as one half in simplest terms. All right. Uh, one more. How about this? Eight minus two times the quantity negative three minus one. All right, you know the deal. Where are we going first? Parentheses. All right, so we need to do the negative three minus one. All right, we got that. Uh, that's negative four. Um, now, after we're done with the parentheses, there's no more operations inside there. What do we do next? I see subtraction and multiplication again, right? So multiplication comes first. So let's do two times negative four. Two times negative four. Keep everything else the same. So we get eight minus two times negative four is negative eight. And now we can handle the subtraction. So here, just if it helps, you can remember that subtracting a negative is the same as adding its opposite. So eight plus eight plus positive eight, and that's 16, okay? There is a danger spot with this. This is one that always uh, causes trouble, so we gotta be really careful with this one. Um, take a look at those two expressions. They look very similar, right? But the top one has this set of parentheses around the negative two, and the bottom one does not. And that turns out to be really important in this case. Um, take a look at the top. Let's go through the order of operations on this one. I see a set of parentheses. Um, I see an exponent of four. So we know that we do the parentheses first, right? All right, we go inside the parentheses. There's really nothing to do. It's just negative two again. All right, so we're set. Now let's do the exponent. So negative two to the fourth power is just, you guys know the deal, negative two times negative two times negative two times negative two, four times. And we know that that is positive, right? See the even number of negative signs there? 16, positive 16. Now contrast that with what we have at the bottom. Here, we have the exponent still, but down below, I, it might help us to think of it this way to really see the order of what's happening here. This is really like negative one times two to the fourth. Okay, that helps me keep these straight. So now we've got, now we see the operations. We see multiplication and the exponent. So which one gets done first? The exponent, good. So we're gonna do the exponent two to the fourth. Well, that gives us 16. And now we can do the multiplication by negative one. Negative one times 16 is negative 16. So check out the results of those two. Those are clearly different numbers. In fact, so negative two to the fourth and the, the bottom expression, they're exact opposites of one another. So you don't wanna mix those up, all right? Keep that straight and you'll be all set. That's it for today. It was a quick one, but that'll give you plenty of time to work on these together and really get them solid. Excellent job, keep working hard, and I'll see you later.